was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the stars in the night sky the angels looked down on a sleeping overcrowded Bethlehem town a manger lay waiting to receive from above a gift like no other peace hope and love heavenly hosts bring announcements to shepherds and kings hark can you hear them a chorus begins would this be the moment the story starts here our hope that a savior soon would appear so turn to those on your left and your right share a welcome glad tidings and cast your worries aside would you join us and stand our first song of the night so we sing hallelujah our redeemer has arrived welcome to city gate christmas concert how's everyone doing today come on we're gonna start with a song that we all know come on heart the herald angels sing sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sin is reconciled joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies with angelicals proclaim christ is born in bethlehem heart the herald angels sing glory
decent this afternoon. Come on, why don't you turn to someone, give them a high five, tell them they're looking absolutely gorgeous this afternoon. Tell them they're looking amazing. Fantastic. Come on, if you're not standing to your feet yet, why don't you stand to your feet and turn around? You know, Christmas is a time to be merry and to be joyful and to celebrate. Are you glad to be here this afternoon to celebrate, yeah? Anybody else glad to be here to celebrate this afternoon? Fantastic. Sharon, my lovely wife, what are you looking forward to at Christmas time? Oh my goodness, so much. I absolutely love Christmas time. I love it when the nights go dark and you get all the lights as you drive along the road. And they, it's just absolutely amazing. You go into people's houses and they've got lights and candles and everything. Absolutely fantastic. I love it because it's when um, Brussels sprouts come out. teenagers and older and uh, I, th in the last few weeks I've tried a few different ways of cooking them with different things and no way they still hate them absolutely not but one thing I absolutely love at Christmas time is the razzle dazzle parties I said to say to people once I've done that once I've been to a razzle dazzle party which is our children's work which is a few doors down here three parties with hundreds of children over the few days and, and parents, once I've done that, I feel like Christmas has arrived. But the main thing I love Christmas is joining together with so many other people celebrating the birth of Jesus. That's right, fantastic. We're here to celebrate, as Sharon's just said, the birth of Jesus Christ. We're going to sing some carols. Come on. We only get to do it once a year couple of times a year. Next Sunday, we've got three Christmas celebrations, Christmas Day service, different things happening. But you know what? We're here to sing this afternoon. So make sure you breathe in, you fill your lungs with air, because we're all going to enter in right now as we sing. I think it's the first Noel. Can we give it up for everybody taking part today? Is that a, let's remain standing as we sing the first Noel.
Shepherds came to worship, wise men bearing gifts from the east. This Christmas, you might be preparing your loved ones a feast. The stockings all hung by the chimney with care. Will the last minute Amazon orders arrive? Say a prayer. <laughs> a silent night, are you kidding? There's so much to do. Getting Christmas cards posted, buying presents and food. There's children's school plays and the crush at the shops. Let's pause for a moment. Because as the rush stops, it's time to worship. It's time to draw near. This is holy ground. Remember that Jesus is here. Emmanuel, Christ is with us. Will you welcome him in? He came to bring us back into relationship with him. So in the festive frenzy, the noise and the din, come all ye faithful, and worship Christ, the newborn King. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing all the blame And the mountains in reply Echoing that joy Oh, come to Bethlehem and sing Him whose birth the angels sing oh, Come adore on bend and knee Christ the Lord the newborn King Yeah. 
pray together today. Heavenly Father, as we, Lord, are gathered here in your presence, Lord, we are so very aware that we're here to adore you and to love you and to thank you for all that you are. Father, we thank you, Lord, at this time of year. Lord, we particularly think about your incredible love and your gift of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, God, for your gift of life. Thank you, Father, Lord, that you know each one of us inside out. And Lord, you've given us a Saviour. So Father, we thank you right now, Lord, for each other here in this room, the person on our left, on our right. Lord, we perhaps know them or perhaps we don't. Lord, we bless one another today. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're a good God who's got good plans for us. Lord, your word even says you've ordered footsteps before us. And Father, I pray for each of us that we would learn to absolutely keep in step with you through the year. Lord, as we start to exit, Lord, this year, 2022, and Lord, come into 23. Father, we declare, Lord, and we pray your will be done. Your kingdom come. Lord, as we've just sung and heard, Lord, we're standing on holy ground and we come to adore you today. And Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your joy, which strengthens us, your grace, which empowers us. Thank you, Lord, for your faith, which moves mountains and for your love, which casts out fear and worry and anxiety. And Father, we thank you, God, for your peace, which passes all understanding. We thank you, God, for your reality in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. It's so lovely to see so many of you here today, and many of you are here from Razzle Dazzle, so hello to all of you. You're used to story time, aren't you, at the end of Razzle Dazzle? So I thought, as there are so many children here today, we would do a little story time. What do you think? Now, I need you to listen really, really carefully to the story today, because at the end, I'm going to ask you some questions, so I'm going to know whether you've been listening or not. That's the grown-ups and the children. Okay, are you ready? The story of Christmas. An angel flew on golden wings to tell Mary surprising things. My dear, you are God's chosen one and you are pregnant with his son. Mary's cousin was pregnant too and when they met, Elizabeth knew Mary was blessed by God above for her son would bring the world such love. A new law meant Joseph must go on a trip that was long and slow. He took Mary to Bethlehem with a little donkey helping them. In Bethlehem, no rooms were free for Joseph and his family. At last, they found a place to stay a warm, dry stable filled with hay. Jesus was born that very night under a star that shone so bright. And when it was time to rest his head, they used a manger for his bed. Outside, some shepherds watched their sheep, careful not to fall asleep. A group of angels came to say, the Son of God is born today. The shepherds rushed to see the boy who was to bring the world such joy. They left and then told everyone that they had met God's only son. Riding camels in lands afar, wise men saw the shining star They went along a dusty road with special gifts inside their load. They met the boy and bowed their heads. Overjoyed, the wise men said, This is God's son, as was foretold. Please take this frankincense, myrrh and gold. Jesus grew up and journeyed around to spread God's word from town to town. He died to save us all from sin. And now we praise and worship him. Now, were you all listening very carefully to my story today? Okay, here are my questions. Are you ready for question number one? 
Question number one is, who told Mary, and I'm going to give you an A, B, or C, so don't shout out straight away, okay, because some of you might need a little prompt. Who told Mary she was going to have a baby? Was it A, the doctor? Was it B, an angel? Or was it C, her mummy? Call out if you can tell me. It, oh, you guys are off for a good start. It was B, it was an angel. Question number two. How did Mary and Joseph get to Bethlehem? Did they A, take a motorbike? Did they B, take the bus? Or did they C, ride a donkey? Yeah, it would have been fun on a motorbike, I think, but donkeys all they had back then. Question number three. Where did Mary and Joseph stay? Did they stay in A, a stable, B, the Bethlehem Plaza, or C, the local campsite? A. Josiah Farmer, you have been studying the Christmas story, I can tell. Question number four. What did the wise men follow? Did they follow A, a sat-nav, B, a star, or C, a map? <laughs> it was a star. You guys are so good. Okay, final one. I'm going to try and trick you. What was the special gift that God gave to us? Was it A, some flowers? Was it B, a birthday cake? Or was it C, Jesus? There's no tricking you, is there? You know, that was such a special gift. You know, the best gift that any of us could ever get at Christmas time or any other time was Jesus sent for us. So thank you so much for listening to Storytime today. It was so lovely to see all of you, and I'll see you later. Fantastic. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? You know, Christmas is such a time for kids, yeah? Big ones and little ones. We've just heard the Christmas story said in a very, very simple way. But I just want to encourage us and remind us today that the Christmas story is not just a children's story. It really is the very heartbeat of Almighty God, the God who's created all things, that the Bible says He so loved this world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting eternal life. And I know that can sound a little bit like a fairy story, really. It can sound a little bit like pie in the sky. And, and I know today, you know, it's like, what, you really believe that? And, and actually, it's not just something that I really believe. It's something that I absolutely know to be true. And as we've been through this uh, account today, just very simply, and there was the wise men, and they followed a star, and they came to a town, and they found a little child. Jesus, at that point, could have been anything up to about a couple of years old. And these three very important guys from the East, they fell down and they worshipped the child because they knew him to be very, very special. We've been actually you know, discussing some of these things in in Sundays, on Sundays here in Citygate. And just the other Sunday, we talked about the impact it would have had on the life of Mary, a teenage girl. And, you know, she finds herself pregnant with the Son of God. I mean, again, sounds like a fairy story. But you know what? These things are very, very real. And just as I bring a couple of thoughts today for just literally a few minutes, just a couple of minutes, I want to think about the other story we've heard today. And the angels came to some guys on the on the hill, they were keeping their sheep and these angels turned up and, and they said, a Saviour is born. And I think if there's something that the world needs today is a Saviour. And we all know and we've heard the story that Jesus is the Saviour of the world, but Jesus really is a Saviour. Jesus wants to be very, very real to you and to me. He wants to be very real in our families, very real in our workplace. But it's not just about, you know, coming into our everyday lives. He wants to be in our life for eternity. And the Bible is really clear that everybody needs a Saviour. And um, 
again, I don't want to take time here today, but it's so easy to think sometimes we're like, you know, I'll live a good life. That will mean I, I deserve eternal life or, or perhaps I, I do a certain thing or I think a certain way, so therefore I deserve eternal life or I will earn eternal life. Well, the Bible's really clear and Jesus said Himself, there's only one way to receive eternal life and that is to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. And I know there's a whole load of people here today that have already done that. And, uh, but perhaps you're here today, perhaps you're a guest, perhaps you've been coming here for a long time and perhaps He's not that, that intimately real for you. Perhaps Jesus is still just on a Christmas card or trapped in a stained glass you know, design somewhere. But, but Jesus really is who He says He is. And just a couple of things were said by the angels that day to those, those guys on the mountainside. There's just a couple of verses. I think they're going to, you know, come up here. One, it says, Glory to God in the highest. There was suddenly, there was an angel of the crowd of, of the heavenly host, praise God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace and goodwill towards men. Just a couple of things there. The first thing is glory to God in the highest. And you know, Christmas um, is a time that you sing carols and we've been singing, Oh Holy Night, we're just about to sing and the first Noel and Hark the Herald Angels Sing. All of these carols are singing glory to God. And that's at the very heart of this Christmas concert today, that we're singing glory to Almighty God, the God that so loves us and the God who wants to be real in our lives. But the other things they said can often be interpreted the wrong way or even said the wrong way. And you know, I've heard people say, and peace towards men or peace among men rather, peace among men. But actually what it says is peace towards men. And that God today wants to extend His love to you and I and extend to you and I His peace and His goodwill. You know, that word there for peace is a very powerful word. It doesn't just mean, you know, we all get on with each other. Wouldn't that be great for the world to get on with itself and all of the hatred, the animosity and the cancel culture and the criticism and the abuse and all of that just all fell away. But you know what? I don't think it will. But what can happen is that each of us experience peace, not just amongst one another, but from God towards us. And that word peace is a very powerful word. It actually means wholeness. There are times in the Gospels where the Lord Jesus said, have my peace and He healed somebody physically. Another time He said, have my peace and He healed someone's relationship. You know what? That peace is very, very powerful today. And the Bible is really clear that if you accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, you can receive His peace into your life. And that for some people can mean healing for their body or peace in their mind or, or peace in their family or perhaps you've got a family situation right now that you really would love to see resolved. Well, the peace of God can come in right into the middle of that situation. He said, peace among men, peace towards men and goodwill towards men. And I don't know what you've heard about Jesus. I don't know if, you, if you've heard good, bad or ugly stories about Him. But I wanna say it loud and clear today before we sing another song is, is that I absolutely know our God is a good God. And He's not just an old man with a big stick wanting to beat people up or to, or to tell people off or to, or to rebuke people or to upset the world. God is a good God. And the Bible actually says that when the Lord Jesus Christ came, He went about doing good and healing everybody who had situations in their lives. So today, just as I close this part of this service, we've got other songs to sing, of course, but as I just end what I was gonna say today, I'd like us to pray together. And I'd like to pray that this Christmas time would be a very special time for each of us here and our extended loved ones and our family and our friends, that Jesus would be very real to each person here. And probably at the, at the end of the prayer, I'm gonna ask us if you wanna join me in praying just to, just to pray a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as Lord. You know, I prayed that prayer for the first time when I was 19 years old. At that time, I was one of the Bromley punks so uh, I won't talk about that. Some of you will remember that, some of you won't. You're all too young for the Bromley Punks in 1977, 78. But I was one of those and, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't believe in God, didn't have any time for God or church, thought it was all hypocrisy and religion and just really for children at Christmas. But I came to, found out, to find out that Jesus is who He says He is. 
And that night, October the 9th, 1984, my life turned upside down. And, um, and that's because God's a good God. So can we pray together? Father God, we want to thank You for this incredible Christmas story. Lord, the songs we're singing that give You glory. But Father, for Your heart towards us that says peace from God towards mankind. And Father God, today we want to thank You for that and receive You, Jesus, again as our Lord and Saviour. How about we all pray this prayer together if you feel comfortable in praying. Say, Heavenly Father, thank You that You love me that You've sent Your Son, Jesus, as a gift of Your love. And I receive You, Jesus, as my Lord, my Saviour, and my friend. Amen. Amen. If you did pray that prayer for perhaps for the first time, or perhaps you want to talk about anything you've heard today, or things you're seeing, or things anything I've said, we'd love to have a conversation with you. I think after, we've got a long time yet, but after this, I think we, have we got hot chocolates? Yeah. We got hot, we got marshmallows. We got Marshall, we got whipped cream. Oh, well, if you want to have a chat over hot, ma- hot chocolate marshmallows and whipped cream, please help yourself. But I think in your hands, you should all have little candles right now. And, um, you know, in, in the old days, we used to get out in a, do you remember the lighters? And then it went to phones. Well, today it's going to little plastic candles and there's a little switch on the bottom. And just to create just a moment, I think it'll look fantastic if we had 350 lights turn on here today. And uh, as we sing the next song, thank you, Ruth.
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I hope you might not. Hi, Zoe. Hello. How's it going? Great. You're looking very Christmassy. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> wow. We love Christmas time in City Gate Church. So many things going on. These Christmas concerts. Tell us what's been going on, Zoe. Um, so we have had an incredible time the last couple of weeks. We've had the Razzle Dazzle parties. Woo. We have had the Razzle Dazzle quiz night. We had a movie morning. Wow. Um, we had Christmas parties this morning with all our kids. And you know what? Stack the Sleigh has been incredible. What, what is Stack the Sleigh? Stack the Sleigh. We have been getting people to come in and donate presents for people in the community who won't actually get a present this year. Um, and the uh, response to it has been incredible. It's been overwhelming to see the sleigh full of presents. Um, and people have been coming in this week and wrapping them. And, oh, it's just been we incredible. say thank you to all those that have been wrapping presents yes. and giving presents. And absolutely thank you so much. Wow, 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 wow. We also have hampers, which we're going to be giving out um, in the next week, and t week or two. Um, What's which in the hampers? Hamper is full of Christmas food. Oh, fantastic. Is this all out from our Food Plus as well? Which yes, is our food all bank? our Food Plus. That's, that's all yeah. from that. So yes. again, thank you yeah. so much. I know there are people here, and perhaps we've got guests here today as well, but if you've been giving towards all of this, and I know we're a very generous church, and lots of things go on anyway in Citygate, but especially at this time of year, we've done so much this year. So a big thank you to everybody who has has been part of this of this whole push really uh, to do what we can do to help make somebody else's life great which is really what we're all about really that's what the gospel is all about yeah. and it's what we're all about and um, you know thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for taking part thank you for all your food donations thank you for all the Christmas toys but I'm going to ask you to get to your feet right now because we are going to celebrate we're going to sing come on Dan Dan the Christmas man and Whoever else are coming on. Thank you, Zoe. Come on, can we give it up for our band today? I think they've been absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus come in a town Santa Claus come in a town Santa Claus is coming to town He's making a list He's checking it twice
Christmas. Have an amazing 2023. You know what? Next year is going to be 10 times better than this year. Have a great year. Bye-bye. Santa Claus come.